In this video, we will show you how to simulate conventional restriction and insertion cloning in SnapGene. Restriction cloning is a common cloning technique where restriction enzymes are used to prepare an insert and a vector for ligation. We will explore the ways to simulate inserting a single fragment into a plasmid vector using restriction cloning in SnapGene. To start with, I will import a plasmid that I will use as the vector. There are multiple ways to do this. The first begins at the SnapGene welcome screen. From here, go to import and select a desired database. For this example, I will use the SnapGene database. So I will select the SnapGene online sequences option. In this example, I will use the plasmid PGL4.10 look 2 so I'll use the search bar to quickly find it in the list, select it and choose import. An alternative way to import sequences and files into SnapGene comes from within the software. To do this, simply go to file, import, and then select the desired database and follow the same steps as before. Let's now take a look at the plasmid. The PGL4 plasmid contains a multiple cloning site or MCS as indicated by this feature in blue. Adjacent to the MCS is a luciferase reporter indicated by the orange arrow. I will open up a separate file containing my insert of interest. Specifically, this sequence contains the EGFR gene promoter region. My aim is to insert this promoter region into the multiple cloning site of the PGL4 plasmid. To perform insertion cloning, we must ensure the vector and insert contain compatible restriction sites flanking the region of interest. I have identified the sites ACC651 at position 51 and XHO1 at position 357. In SnapGene, unique restriction enzymes are easily identifiable since they have bold text. You can also mouse scroll over the enzyme to see more information. So I can see that there is a single site for ACC651 and a single site for XHO1 in this sequence. So now I'll switch back to the vector file by going to Windows and then selecting PGL4.10 look 2 As you can see in the map view, there are the same ACC651 and XHO1 restriction enzyme sites inside the multiple cloning site of the PGL4 plasmid. Now we can simulate our restriction and insertion cloning. To do this, simply go to Actions, Restriction Insertion Cloning, Insert Fragment. PGL4.10 look 2 has been pre-selected as the vector. I can also select a different vector by using the drop-down menu. Next, we need to select the two restriction enzymes. I will firstly click on ACC651 and shift-click on XHO1 to select the desired region. The schematic below is now showing the sequence with the overhangs. Next, we need to select the insert by going to the insert tab. Select the source of insert by using the drop down menu. Any open DNA files will be listed at the top, followed by recently opened DNA files. You can also browse your computer to select a file not listed here. For this example, I want to use the human EGFR promoter file that is open, so I will select this. Then I will select the ACC651 and XHO1 sites by shift clicking on them as before. I can then go to the product tab to preview the final cloned plasmid. The region that is being included in the cloning is called black, which corresponds to the vector, and red, which corresponds to the insert. For the insert, the parts that are called white indicate the region that will not be included in the cloning. Finally, we need to give the file a name. I will call mine pgl4-egfr promoter. And then we can click the clone button to simulate the cloning. In the map view, you can select the show colors button to view the history colors as before. Also, if you go on the history tab, you can see a schematic flowchart of the operations previously performed. There is also a quick alternative way to simulate this cloning reaction in SnapGene, and this uses copy and paste, which I'll demonstrate now. With the file containing the insert of interest open, in my case this is the EGFR promoter, I will click and drag on the two restriction enzymes I will be using in the reaction. So again, 
This is ACC65-1 and XHO1. I will then click the copy button at the top. Next, I'll switch to my vector file and click and drag on the ACC65-1 and XHO1 enzymes. Then I'll click the paste button at the top. This will open the insert fragment window as before, where you can preview and simulate the cloning. And that wraps up this video tutorial. In this video, you have learnt two ways to simulate restriction and insertion cloning in SnapGene. For more information about simulating other cloning techniques in SnapGene, check out the other tutorials on the SnapGene website. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, it really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.